Hey guys, so I wanted to make a video today and I've been going on and off for the past week whether or not I should make this video because I don't like stirring up trouble, I don't like stirring up drama, but I feel like it's something that should be brought to attention. Um, and so I decided to make this video. Now it's going to be talking about Freely and Durian Riders Raw Till 4. Now if you guys haven't heard of the Raw Till 4 premise, there are some guidelines within this premise that you should follow. So you want to aim for a thousand calories per meal and you want to drink three liters of water before you eat that meal um, and at night they promote eating starchy carbs as your dinner so a thousand calories worth of that and they say a thousand calories minimum so they say 2,500 calories minimum for females 3,000 calorie minimum for males um, and this is just a flat guideline for everyone. And they say if you keep your fat very low, then you're going to lose weight, you're going to, or you're gonna gain weight, or you're going to maintain your weight. Um, gaining weight is if you are like really super malnourished and skinny, and then you'll find your equilibrium and balance out. And they say you may gain a few pounds in the beginning, but this is because your metabolism is balancing out. Now, they used to promote a fully raw uh, vegan lifestyle and they would ban people from their website 30 bananas a day if they promoted cooked food, if they even talked about cooked food in the forums they would get banned, bam. They found that a lot of people were falling off the raw food wagon um, even when they were promoting 2,500 calories of raw food for women and then 3,000 for men, people were still falling off. So like, well, we kind of need a backup plan. So that's what it was originally um, created as. It was Freely's mother who created the um, raw tell four premise because that's what worked for her. She didn't want to be 100% raw. She wanted to still have those um, foods at night. So raw tell four was born and it was promoted more of as a backup plan in the beginning before raw tell four came out. Um, you know, she says if you don't have any ripe fruit, um, then have some rice, have some potatoes, have something like that, some gluten-free pasta. It's completely fine. Um, and then she started incorporating it more into her lifestyle and it became her thing. Um, she heavily promoted that. Now, when I was following the 100% raw diet, um, 2,500 calorie days minimum. There were some days where I had over 3,000 calories and I was fairly sedentary. I mean, I did walk around a lot for my job, but I ended up gaining abdominal fat, um, as you can see from some of the photos I'm gonna insert. So this first picture was me in 2011, a few months after I was raw. And as you can see, my stomach is pretty flat here, and uh, I look fairly healthy. I wasn't healthy, though, at the time. Um, and here you can see this is in 2012, so this was about um, less than a year after I'd been following 80-10-10, following Freely's advice of a calorie minimum and just stuffing in the calories. And I had never really noticed um, gaining abdominal weight since then because I just didn't really pay much attention to my stomach. And here's another picture of me in my bikini. Um, this is also in 2012 following the 80-10-10 diet with Freely's advice and you can see my stomach is a little bit pudgy. I had abdominal fat um, just from eating 100% raw but eating too many calories, um, just way too many. I was stuffing them in, absolutely just stuffing any amount of calorie I could get in. I tried to go for the most dense things. It was still low fat. I rarely ate any fat. I followed, you know, 80, 10, 10 to the T. I was still getting abdominal fat. I didn't really notice it at the time. I just didn't. I never really paid attention to those kinds of things. I never really paid much attention to the way my body looked. It wasn't really overly concerning for me. Um, and then when Raw Tell 4 came out, you know, I was so, I was so involved with Freely and Durian Rider, I thought they had all the answers, I thought they knew everything, you know, 
they seem so confident in their word and they repeat it over and over and over again and so it gets kind of stuck into your mentality so I followed Grotel 4 and I gained much more weight um, following that still keeping it low fat following their guidelines and there was one point where I would um, <clears throat> stay up a little bit later at night to make sure that I got enough calories for the rest of the day I was not hungry I was just shoveling it in um, because they say minimum 1,000 calories per meal, so I was eating, you know, anywhere from 2,500 to 3,000 calories a day, maybe sometimes more. It used to be a little bit skinnier um, than what was healthy. It was like around 95 pounds, which is what I weighed at my lowest weight. Um, <clears throat> I gained, in total, since then, I gained. 40 pounds total that was my heaviest weight I was 135 so that was my heaviest weight I gained 40 pounds um, and a lot of that at the end from eating raw tel 4 was fat it wasn't muscle even though I was working out more I could tell it was fat and I'm gonna insert some pictures I'm gonna insert a picture of my heaviest weight 135 I weigh 125 now so I dropped five pounds or ten pounds I'm sorry a total which is you know maybe water weight um, <coughs> fat I'm not entirely certain what it was I dropped but it's very steady very consistent you know I wake up 125 I go to bed around 125 um, maybe I go to bed around 127 a little bit more but then I you know drop in the morning just from eating throughout the day You know, I'm not alone. There are lots of other YouTubers and other um, people who I have talked to who have also gained a lot of weight following this diet. I think there are some people who lose weight on this lifestyle. There's a lot of people who gain weight on this lifestyle. And I think there's a major difference between the two. I think that the people who lose weight are eating until they're satisfied or eating um, a lot, but they're satisfied. So I do not promote calorie restriction by any means. I promote, you know, eating until you're satisfied. And the people who eat until they're satisfied are the people who end up losing weight or getting to a healthy weight. And the people who end up gaining weight are the people who stuff it in, who actually take what Freely says and apply it to the T. So they say, you know, 1,000 calorie meals, pump in the carbs, stuff, stuff, stuff. You know, you're completely bloated, super full all the time. That's not healthy, really not healthy. If you're not hungry, don't eat. Um, so I've been working a lot on intuitive eating. I have found that it was really hard to kind of implement in the beginning because I was so strung up on stuffing in the calories that I wasn't entirely certain how much I could eat and feel satisfied without eating and feeling extremely stuffed because my portion sizes were massive um, <clears throat> and I felt completely stuffed at all meals so I've been working on intuitive eating and it's been a journey to try and understand how much I eat, how much I don't eat, and uh, there's a little beef lying around so you might see him in the camera. But um, for me, it was pretty much an eating disorder. Like, the way I viewed it, I didn't view it at the time as an eating disorder, but I thought about food, like, all the time. Like, I always made sure that I brought enough food with me anywhere I went, and I was kind of thinking in my mind, okay, so, I'm going to be gone for like two days. I need to make sure that I bring, you know, at least 2,000 calories worth of food. And um, then when I ate and I was full, I was still thinking about my next meal. I was like, okay, I need to make sure that I hit this calorie amount or else something terrible is going to happen. Um, and I was concerned, like I got super paranoid that I would not have enough food. I was really... Um, worried that I wouldn't be eating enough and that my energy levels would dip like that was my main concern about my energy levels dipping because she made it seem like if you have you know 3,000 calories a day you're gonna have more energy than if you would have 2,000 calories a day 
but um, in my opinion and from my experience that not, not necessarily the case because if you need 2,000 calories a day and you're eating 3,000 calories a day you might actually feel worse um, especially if it's not from extremely energy dense or nutritionally dense foods um, so I guess that kind of has the question you know what are you eating now so ever since dropping some of her guidelines um, I mean I still follow kind of like a raw to four premise but I include a lot more nutritionally dense foods into my diet um, you'll see freely eating greens but a lot of time it's at dinner and it's just some romaine so I try to get a more wide variety of fruits and vegetables into my diet so for example breakfast I might have something that's really juicy and liquidy so I might have some melons or I might have a green smoothie or for example this morning I am drinking a green juice and in oh well I'll talk about this green juice I guess in my green juice I have uh, an entire head of red leaf lettuce and it was a massive head um, three apples and one cucumber so that's my green juice and then uh, so for lunch um, I'll have like banana ice cream or I'll have like a salad bowl or I'll have um, maybe something cooked maybe I want some sweet potatoes um, or maybe I want an entire fruit meal and then I just kind of follow my my intuition and um, I eat what's in season and what I have and then for dinner I have you know some cooked foods um, typically I keep it extremely simple sweet potatoes uh, some cooked vegetables like broccoli water chestnuts carrots um, <clears throat> green beans whatever I have spinach and then uh, maybe some white rice like jasmine rice basmati rice those are great options and maybe put some salsa on there some guacamole have a salad I really just eat what my body wants now and I don't follow you know oh like save your greens until the evening because you need to have enough room in your stomach to eat all these calories if I want a big ass salad I'm gonna eat a big ass salad and if I want to eat fruit for lunch or fruit for dinner or cooked foods for lunch cooked foods for dinner I will one thing though that has not changed is I always still eat fruit for breakfast I haven't had a desire ever to eat cooked foods for breakfast I've always just wanted fruit so it all just depends on how hungry I am, how much I've eaten the, the night before, how much exercise I've done, and my body will tell me because I've been eating healthy for a long time, for about you know five years now, that my body knows when it's hungry, when it's not, like what it needs, what I'm craving, and I'll just listen to it. And when Freely and Durian Rider might hear intuitive eating, their alarms go off and they're like, oh my God, that's an eating disorder, oh no you can't do intuitive eating you're gonna be starving yourself for some reason intuitive eating to them equates starving yourself but that's definitely not the way it is starving yourself would be you being hungry all the time and not eating but intuitive eating is listening to your body cues and actually eating it's not that hard but we make it so complicated um, Earthling Nutrition has a really great video. She talks a lot about the um, Minnesota Starvation Study uh, and she talks about you know why people gain weight on a raw tail 4 diet. And Freely and Durian Rider, oops, um, let me edit that out. Uh, so she talks about the Minnesota Starvation Study and why people gain weight on the uh, raw food diet and um, how the starvation study is mis grossly misinterpreted by uh, Durian Rider and the men in the study, they're starving. They're legitimately starving because their body fat percentage is under um, the alarmingly scary rate. It's like they're essentially dying. Uh, <laughs> so of course their metabolism is going to be all whacked out. You're not going to be starving if you eat 2,000 calories, if you eat 1,700 calories a day and that's what your body needs. Like if you're sitting on your butt all day working on the computer because of your job or um, whatever, then 
you really don't need that many calories. You don't need to be smashing in 3,000 calories if you're sitting on your ass all day. So listen to your body. Um, that's the main main take takeaway from this. Um, so there are a lot of things that I don't agree with anymore from freely and Darian writers advice. I you know used to follow them religiously almost, and. I don't want this video to be, you know, misinterpreted. I don't want it to be like I'm attacking Freely and Durian Rider because I'm not. And I just want to kind of get this into the open and let people know um, my experience. Because maybe it will help someone else who's going through the same thing. Who's like, wow, they're so skinny, but I'm gaining all this weight from eating what they're eating. So that's what I'm doing right now and I feel great and um, I've lost some weight so I'm down to 125 and I guess I will show you um, some progress on how I've done now this feels a little bit strange because I was raised conservatively uh, so I'm gonna be showing you guys my stomach I guess uh, which I've never done before now on the way my body looks now um, you can see from my other pictures that it does look like I get some weight and I've had some compliments from people saying that I look like I've lost some weight. Um, so here's a little, little stomach shot. Definitely lost weight and my stomach looks so much better than it did in a big bloaty puffy self. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I hope I haven't missed anything because this was just kind of like a free flow conversation with you guys talking to you I didn't write anything down just kind of um, flowed out and uh, if you have any comments questions leave it down below I'll be happy to answer them uh, so thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you again